Testing model builders, welcome back. This is time for some model making madness. That's right, model making madness. Uh, we're going to give a shout out right now to Ethan McManaman. Probably butchered that, but hey, that's okay. He wanted me to mention him in my next video. This is the next video that I got a chance to mention him in, so here it is. What we're doing now, throwing parts into the water, because you know I like to wash parts before we do everything. So, washing off our F-15 Eagle Strike parts. Sorry, we're washing off our F-15E Strike Eagle parts. We all make mistakes sometimes, you know how that goes. Getting all the soap, all the good stuff off. We got our little canopy right there. So, here we are, cutting off everything for the cockpit. Uh, basically, this whole video is going to be the cockpit. Uh, it's not your normal cockpit, it's a two-seat cockpit, so everything is basically doubled. Joysticks, control panels, uh, your seats, all that good stuff. So, putting a little bit of primer on everything right here. Primer is always good, it helps paint the hair a little bit better, sticks. So, here we are, we're putting all the primer on. I'm going to paint all these things. Cutting the parts off of the sprues right here, you know, that's got to be done. So, here are our control and instrument panels. Going to get off the uh, actual seats there. I guess you could say that's the cockpit itself. Got some joysticks. Going to cut those off. Everything you see here, it's all related to the cockpit. So we've got these little parts here that we're getting cut off. These are going to go on. Got this. That little piece I just cut off before fits right on top of this. It's hard to get on there, but we managed. So painting a joystick. There's going to be two of these things. This one goes black all the way around as you see me painting here. Um, I probably the paint I put on may have been a light ghost gray color. I'm not sure I thought it was primer, but it doesn't really matter because it's such a same color similar to the actual model anyway to those uh, molds. So it's probably like a light ghost gray anyway. But as you can see, I just painted the instruments right there. I painted all those black. We'll go back and we'll touch them up with a little bit of silver, aluminum, whatever silver color you want to call it. So this is how I did mine. You do yours the way you do yours, of course. By the way, the video is about 15 minutes long. Exactly. So that's good. Here you see this is the rear cockpit control panel. Uh, I guess they're probably the radar guy. Just getting everything all the way around all these instrument panels. You see it goes black. Uh, just look at some reference pictures. That hole that you see there, that was there when I got the model. I didn't bother fixing it because me, I didn't care. So there it is. You see it right there. Painting more little knobs. This thing's got a bunch of knobs. So like I said, this whole video focuses basically around the cockpit itself. I know some guys might do it a little bit faster, but this is how I did mine. We're putting this little bar on. You see this will go in between the actual uh, canopy when it's lowered down. And you see there how it looks straight. So now what we've got going on, painting the rest of the instrument panel. And this is the front seat. We're gonna go all around here. We're gonna paint these little uh, windows here, you know, the sonar, whatever you wanna call it, radar. We're gonna paint those a green color. Just finishing up a little bit of the silver on that. We're getting a little bit over here on the back panel. So that's pretty much that. You know how that goes. Just make it look pretty. All right, well, so we'll do the cockpit seats too. Why not? There are instrument panels on the cockpit. So here we go. That's that. We are going to paint, as I said, the radar equipment, sonar, whatever you want to call it. I made a little bit of a green color there. I took some probably olive green whatever green what we'll thinned it down a little bit and we're just lightly going over it as you see here so I turn it one way that way you know it's just how I like to paint since I'm right-handed you know you can't always paint everything with the same hand so you just rotate it makes it easier to get inside of these squares that we don't do anything so I got six of these or wait seven of them so like I said because this is a double seated cockpit there's like a bunch of everything so that's why this whole video is based just off of the cockpit because there's so much involved with it so here we go, we're getting that. I'm going to scrape a little bit of the uh, paint off of this, get some paint off of it in here, that way we can put these joysticks and instrument panels in and all that good stuff, that way we can make this cockpit. So here we are, scraping it off. Get it good. Get more of this stuff right here, that's for the instrument panel, of course. Got a front one and a back one, as you saw. Scraping the paint off of that. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here. As you can see, each one gets a panel. So 
First we put in the joystick on that, now we're putting in the control panel and instrument panel on the back, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. So there we go, that's the back one, I put a bunch of different glue on all the sides, that way it would stick. We're going to do the same for the front, put in the control stick because it's easiest to do, put that in first. Then we're going to put in right here the instrument panel. You see me putting a little bit of dab of glue there because you see it's got those little spots here to hold it. So we've got some back control sticks here. Those are for the back seat of the plane. They go on each side. Uh, they do have a proper way to go, so make sure you note that before you put them in. I'm sure they're numbered just the way they should be. So they slant inwards just a little bit, as you can see me doing there, putting the finishing touches with the glue. Yes, I use a lot of glue. I'm messy. I'll work on that. I promise. Don't worry. It won't be a big deal. It's my model anyway, so you can deal with it. So get those all straightened out, paint those black, both the control sticks all go black. Uh, just make sure you read the instructions properly because I think some of them go a little bit different in the color how they do it. So here we're getting this one. Get the top portion, side portion, all this good stuff. Going over this right here, I'm going to paint this all black. Like I said, this is model making madness. It's fun. Make it look pretty. We got to get in those sayings. Why? Because they're important because they're my sayings. Nobody else says them. At least I hope not. And if they do, I should copyright them. All right. So here we go. Cutting out the seats. You know, speaking of copyrights, it probably doesn't even matter because now that I've said it, that means I own it anyway. So nobody else could say it if they wanted to. So model making madness. That's mine. I own it. You can just go and do whatever. So here we are cutting out the seats, all this good stuff. There is, let's see here, we got the top of the seat, the two sides, and then the back. So you're gonna have to cut all those out in order to do this. One way I should have had to do this, you can cut the seats out, do whatever. Make sure you get all the flashing off, by the way. There's a lot of flashing on these seats, even on the uh, little uh, tops of them. So you gotta make sure you get that off too. Seats weren't easy, small parts, gotta be careful with you know, sanding and all that good stuff. So here we go, putting on one set of seats here, you see, I'll just paint this completely black. Then I put on the back, I did it a bit in reverse, but I'm not perfect. So here's the other seat. This will go in the back, by the way, both seats are exactly the same. We're gonna let those dry. And in the meantime, we're gonna put on the top panel right here. So there we go, it's gotta fit in just right. Here we are painting one seat, doing it black, holding it down. Don't break the little knobs that you see there because, you know, they're kind of important. All right, go all the way around, paint the whole thing black. Easiest thing to do. Then you can go back and paint whatever colors you want later. That's how I did mine. Notice I did forget to put in the back seats. So here they are, the back of the chairs. Get those, cut those out. Just slowly put a little bit of glue in there. And these things fit in fairly easily, as you can see. Boom, they're in. Do the other side, and you see I never even painted this seat yet. So we're gonna get this all completely assembled. That's the fun thing about making models. You can make mistakes along the way, and you can watch these videos and learn from them. That way you can do it how you wanna do it without making mistakes, because you've already seen the mistakes that were made. So painting this one all black, going all the way around this, front, back, top, side, pretty much the whole thing is black, with the exception of the part that I'm holding there because you can't even see those inside of the plane once they're there. So get that all black. We are now painting the cockpit chair. It goes like an olive green color. We're going to paint all those. After we get those painted, we'll let that dry. Then we will paint all the uh, straps. Those go a little bit of a gray color, light gray probably. And we'll get the silver on the buckles because most buckles go silver. And they're even got some canisters that go inside which are like, I don't know, oxygen. So we'll get those. Those also go a green color, paint your ejection handles. Uh, there are some decals that will go on these, but we don't put those on until later because I forgot about them. And well, that's just how it is. But I did get them on there. You have to look at the uh, like pictures of this thing. You'll actually see where those go on. So at least you'll know they're there. So here I am painting all the straps on here. Goes all the way like I'm showing you here, a little bit off the sides and down the sides. We'll paint the buckles and I'll come back and I will get like right on the chair seat itself. There's one that goes all the way across the back and we'll do that. These are some pretty detailed seats. I like them. You see right there. So I'm going to paint the buckles. Yes, I know I should have done maybe one color and then the other, but that's not how I did it. This is how I did it. Painting those and I do the other ones. I was able to wash it off. So here's what I'm talking about. This is the bottom of the chair. 
get the bottom of the chair, goes a little bit of gray there, and then you just paint the buckle, a little bit of silver, and it looks pretty, make it look pretty. Model Mega Madness. So, there it is. The ejection handles, yes, each one of these, there's two per side. So you see one in the back, really small, and two in the front right there. I don't remember if I put stripes on these or if I just said forget about it. Maybe said forget about it. So here they are. Got about uh, five minutes left in this. I appreciate you for watching the whole thing. If you've stuck by me so far, I do appreciate you when you watch the whole videos. It's good for the hours, you know, good for the money. Uh, so here we go. Paint these, do whatever you want to do with them. They always go yellow like every cockpit chair in the world. Both sides, front and back, both seats. Remember, there's two seats. So here we go. Looked at some pictures again. Realized I missed some stuff. So just touching those up a little with a little bit more gray. I really like these seats. They fit nicely into the plane. Here's the canister. It goes a green color. I put two coats on this. So first coat, let it dry, then come back to another coat. And this is pretty standard for these. And you just look at pictures, find them online. It will show that these are how they actually looked. I was able to find some. Uh, contrary to what the directions imply, I don't even think it tells you to paint this. So uncharacteristically of me, I went the extra mile. Even did this, put a little bit of white here because that's what was on the actual seats. These are not on the instructions, I believe, to paint them like this. So I did go the extra mile for the seats. It may have been for those because, you know, you do have to put one of the decals goes on that little white part there. And even that the symbol that they have on the decals is the same that you see in pictures. So you just look up like on, you know, the old lookup site. I don't feel like saying its name. I'm too lazy because they make enough money already. So they're not making any more money off of me. Put in the ejection seats in the chairs right here. You'll kind of see them put in there and then just snap them down into place. You'll see from the bottom when you push them through. There you go. You can see them and that's what the final product looks like. So this is ready to go into the plane. But before we do that, we are going to finish the actual cockpit. So this is the wheel assembly. The way this plane is designed, you have to put the wheel assembly on first. Uh, you see a lot of flashing there. It's going to have to come off. This is the front wheel. Cut that off. Two and a half minutes left in this. Thank you for sticking with me. That goes on the bottom. So remember, you're going to have to get out your sanding files because there's a little bit of sanding that we have to do with this. And you'll see right here, just go around here. And we're going to have to get the underside, some little bit of flashing right there. So, you know, it, it is what it is. Get more flashing. Cut that off. Just be careful because not all of that gets cut off. Some more flashing. Small little pieces. Get the sanding out of the way. And we got two minutes to go. This is awesome. We're almost done. Part two will be coming up where we put this thing in and we put together the rest of the plane. I love this plane. This was this is one of my favorite ones. So I hope you like it when you get it. If you can find them still, you know, they're getting harder to find now. I think they have a new version out. Granted, Ravel isn't Ravel anymore, so is what it is. Sanding those little areas there because those got to fit in the base. Make sure you put them in right. You see, put the glue right there in each circle and the notches go towards the back. You see those notches? There they are. So in the back side of the plane where the canopy would open up. So we put a little bit of glue down there and we're going to put the side panels in this thing shortly. I promise. Don't worry. It will go in. So there we go. It's one panel. Put the other one in and then the one in the back goes right here. That basically is the uh, part of the landing gear right there. You see. So here we are. We are going to cut out the front fuselage. This is how it comes. I liked how they did this. It wasn't like it was a seam all the way down, except for in the middle right there. It meets up. Uh, it was fairly easy to hide that seam. Get it sanded, get it polished. 30 seconds to go. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this cockpit. Uh, watch our other videos, subscribe, that way you can see the latest videos. Give me some comments and some likes. You know, I always respond to those, and apparently I even do mentions if you beg for them. So, Ethan, that one's for you again. Mentioning you one more time in the very end. Painting the inside of the cockpit. You are going to see this in part two, where we assemble the cockpit and the rest of the plane. 
Thanks for watching. Until next time, see ya.